Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, you guys, so I am kind of expanding on my first impression pattern review series by adding some indie patterns. And I am going to shamelessly use Helen's Closet as a resource because she do an amazing job of recapping the new indie patterns that come out from week to week in her series called Wednesday Weekly. In today's video, I'm gonna cover June. Um, so we're scrolling way back to her Wednesday Weekly number 175. And in here, she has a lot of really great information here, not just new indie patterns. Um, but when you scroll down, you can see all the new patterns that have been <laughs> released um, that week. So I have no idea how many patterns we're going to cover today, but let's jump right in, I guess. So Seamwork does a couple of new patterns every, uh, month. I think that the subscription nowadays is like $8 a month or something like that. I have a link in the description box where you can get oh gosh what's the what's the offer I think it's like three dollars off your first month I'll put all the details of the Seamwork offer that I have in the description box along with the link so head to that to check that out but okay so remember we're all the way back here in June like the beginning of summer so it makes a lot of sense that they would have a little swimsuit pattern here uh, this is the Crosby swimsuit looks to be like, I don't typically review swimsuits cause I don't typically make swimsuits, <laughs> but this is like a little, maybe spaghetti strap wrapped one piece with some ruching and like kind of very low leg. Uh, yeah, I mean, cute enough for a swimsuit, I suppose. Uh, the other really cool thing about seam work is that sometimes they will give you and I don't know if it's going to be on these pages or not but they'll give you ways to hack this into something else so that's a lot of fun this little striped one I wish we could see that of her standing up because it looks like it would be really cute with the stripe variations okay they also released the jean dress g-e-n-e -E, not denim j-e-a-n <laughs> Um, this looks to be a very long, like midi length, straight, probably knit, I'm thinking, with that little twisty thing that everyone's loving right now, myself included. Look how cute that is. I'm assuming this would be like ideal for a cover up, ideal for like beach to dinner kind of situation. And I can see that. Um, so, oh, look, they even tell the alterations they made to the pattern for this specific model that's kind of cool um yeah so it is a knit pattern and then yeah so here are the pattern hacks so they'll give you three of them to make a little asymmetrical version a v-neck version and then like a scooped back with this little like panel thing so you kind of really get five patterns every month if you think about it that way um but they talk to you about where to get fabric. Here are some of the details. Scoop neck. Seems help to create knot. Not him. Details high low. Relaxed fit. Cap sleeve. And a single fold hem. I can imagine if you like shortened this too to raise this up a little bit. That would also be cute. And then here are some line drawings on like a little croaky model looks very comfortable <clears throat> okay next up is pattern scouts fern top look how cute this little number is lots and lots of pictures that's one thing the indie pattern designers are really great at fern is a boxy top pattern for light to midweight woven fabrics it features a dolman style short sleeve a sectioned bodice and skirt bottom I don't know how I feel about dolman sleeves on a mid-weight woven. It creates a lot of bulky, funky stuff up here. 
you know? Like, it's just not super clean, I guess. These are all really cute versions, though. The striped one is fun to show off. Oh, look, a little pleat. That's adorable. I love that one. Super cute. Version A has a pleated peplum skirt and sleeve cuffs, and B has a straight skirt panel, uncuffed sleeves. And then, so I'm not seeing any line drawings though, so. Oh no, here they are, duh. How can I see the whole thing? Click on it, oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, it has a little facing for the neckline. Here are the cuff sleeves and the little pleats. Yeah, that's cute enough for a little top. And I got to imagine, do they have fabric required? Yeah, I got to imagine it doesn't take a ton of fabric to make this either. Finished garment measurements in inches. They have the length. They have different bust cups, waist, and hem. So for all the criticizing I do of the big four, for not giving us this information, it looks like Pattern Scout is like on top of it, which is awesome. Um, and then the yardage is very straightforward. I guess most of us would be using 54 inch fashion fabric. And so you need half a yard at most, depending on your size. So that's fun. Okay, now we have the itch to stitch kawaii pattern. This is cute. I, you know, I love a flutter sleeve. It's like my favorite thing, but it has like this little bib situation with the, uh, with the buttons and a little pleat here. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's not, not cute. How do we get to some more pictures? Oh, you just keep scrolling. Okay, this is more like a blog style here, I guess. And it looks like the buttons are like with the loops, like the one side doesn't have button holes. It has the little loops. So that's kind of fun. And all this piping detail is kind of cute. And then there's another version with the flutter sleeve, which I love. The length is okay. I would probably shorten it a little bit. Here's our line drawings. It doesn't get any bigger, sorry. Um, options for different cup sizes. Button down front bib with button loops, center front pleat, rounded neckline with bias binding finish. So whereas the other one had the facing that you can see on the inside, this one has a completely clean finish. A little bit more of an advanced technique, but if you go slowly, you can definitely get uh, or achieve a really nice finish there. Has a shirt tail hem, meaning it's like curved. And then view A is sleeveless and view B has the ruffled. <clears throat> It's cute enough. I just don't know. Oh, here's some like everyday people. T oh, her testers. Okay. So here's some other like in the, I, I kind of like the contrast there. I'm not sure that I would have thought if I hadn't seen it. This version is the fabric so busy you can't even tell. That's kind of cool. I'm loving seeing all these different body types and seeing how the shirt fits on different people. This is a cool, oh. Uh, yeah, chambray, of course, for the win. Always. That one, you can't really see what's going on. Yeah, I think that the pattern is really helping disguise this seam, which I know is kind of like the point of the design, but... Oh, love it. That's so cute. Very sweet. There's a lot of these, so we're just going to... Stop there. Okay, uh, Amy Nicole Studio has the Chelsea party dress. This looks like fun. The Chelsea party dress is an empire waist gathered and flared dress with plunging neckline and open back. This pattern offers two views. View A is shorter, flirty above the knee. View B adds a panel for a beautiful dramatic maxi length. Lighter weight fabrics a good drape, but more structured fabrics could work for the bodice. Okay. Oh, lots of pictures. I have to click on them individually. Hold on. There's no... Oh, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> well, that's cute. Yeah. Plunging neckline, little waistband, gathered skirt. That's sweet. 
Oh, it also has a low back with these really long straps. That's also nice. I will say the proportions feel a little bit off and I can't tell if it's because of this color blocking or if it's the deep V with the maxi. Let's look at some more pictures. That's cute fabric. Oh, there it is short. It's real short. Yeah, I would still want to add some length to that, but this shorter version I think is cuter in my opinion. Here are line drawings. Cute. This feels like one of the ready to wear summer patterns that I reviewed. I can't remember which one, but yeah, that's really sweet. Um, and then some recommended fabrics. Here's the siding, sizing and yardage that you need. Finish measurements, they do the under bust and the hip. And then lots of advice for how to um, find the right size for yourself. And then they also have length, okay. And then fabric requirements are broken down so that you can kind of like mix and match the pattern pieces. Where was that line drawing? So that you could take, you know, the bodice, and match it with this skirt or this skirt or with the hem band or without, I guess. Because you have the bust, the skirt, and then hem A, which I think is this contrast piece here. So if you wanted to omit that, lengthen this instead, you could easily figure out your yardage um, and be pretty accurate with it. So that's cool. Okay, here we have are, what would this be? I guess the second week in June. We've got four, nope, five patterns. Okay. Starting with Lena Horn, or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Lena Horn pattern by Tabitha Sewer. I remember this one. It was like everywhere on Instagram. The Lena Horn is a vintage inspired dress with ruffled shoulder straps, comes in two lengths above the knee and midi. The bodice is slightly fitted with side darts and princess seams. The ruffle straps crisscross in the back and the skirt has a gathered waist and narrow hem. Also includes an invisible side zipper and it has pockets. So this is obviously my jam, um, especially when we can get to some of these. Look at that ruffle back. I'm not enjoying this user interface. I have to like scroll down then scroll up so that you can see. Yeah, because when I click the photo, it just zooms in. So that's annoying. But look how cute that is, especially that Rick Rack detail is a lot of fun. There it is in the front. Those are some real big ruffles, guys. But look how cute. That is an adorable dress. I also feel like this is one of those um, dress patterns that you could take into the holidays and like this girl, she used, that's like a brocade or something. You know, if you made it longer, like a dress length um, in kind of like a specialty fabric, you could for sure have a holiday dress. Super cute. The midi length looks really good. Now that version looks a lot less, you know, ruffly. Huh. I wonder what that's about. I love how the ruffle kind of makes a little bit of a cap sleeve too. That's also a really cute detail. A little short, a little short. <clears throat> cute though. Yeah, I think this could be made in a gajillion different fabrics. Imagine it in a, um, like a taffeta or a, Dupioni silk would be amazing. You can get in polyester too. It doesn't have to be silk. Yeah, maybe there are different uh, different links for this ruffle, or maybe they were editing as they go. Here's Brittany J. Jones and her kind of like color blocked version <clears throat> with the full ruffle. Cute. No line drawings. No. Uh, there's a YouTube tutorial, which is nice. 
um, when you purchase, then you'll get access to the instructions with the measurements, but you have to buy it to see that, which that's kind of, I don't know if, well, how I feel about that. Um, I guess you're just assuming that the size range zero to 24 you're going to be included in. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I like seeing it before I buy it. I don't know why. Is that a silly thing? It may be one of those things that I'm just like used to. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, I absolutely have to see that first, but maybe I don't. Okay, next up is the La Brea Tea from Half Moon Atelier. Okay, pretty basic stuff here. Um, this is just a dolman sleeve hem banded knit top, honestly. Um, it says throw back to the 80s. I see that for sure. Fit your basic tea needs. Plenty of interesting details. Drafted for both woven and knits. Raw edges are neatly worked away with French seams and bias facings. And yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, that's a super cute detail with the, you know, incorporating the bias. It's kind of like a, um, like a baby's onesie, you know, how they do their bias finishes there. Yeah, that's cute with the hem band too. I'm going to skip the instructions for a second and just look at these pictures. Oh, that tie dye is adorable. That must be like a woven, lightweight woven. Cute with the necktie. Yeah, okay. So here's the, what do we have here? Body measurements in inches. So it looks like body measurements. Yeah, so these are, so not, okay. So it's sizes one through nine on the top row and 10 through 18 on the bottom row. No finished garment measurements. <clears throat> available before you purchase it, maybe after. And then here's a glimpse into the kind of instructions that she has, I guess. Yeah, pretty straightforward. And as usual with indie patterns, a lot of information. Oh, here's your fabric requirements. Perfect. Okay. Next up is the Romy Top or Dress from Tilly and the Buttons. Upgrade your casual me made wardrobe with a stylish and comfy top and dress. The optional back ties or contrast buying add a fun twist to the classic Breton or t-shirt dress. Is that a British thing? Romy has a modern loose fit, a high slash envelope neckline. Don't know what that means. With choice of cap, three quarter or four length sleeves for a year round style. Designed for knit fabrics. Once you made one, you'll be hooked. Okay. Let's see. Same deal with the pictures. That's annoying. So I get, what did she call this? Envelope neckline. I'd never heard that. But again, it's kind of like the baby onesie thing where it wraps around itself. I never knew what that was called. That's a nice neckline. I like that a lot. And then this tie detail, of course. Yeah, okay. Are they only going to show us the dress? Okay, got it. Here's the, oh, that's really cute too. I like this one. Okay, and then here's just a little novelty print. It's the T with, I guess those are the long sleeves. And then here's the back of the t-shirt. That's cute. Okay, let's get to some line drawings. Okay, so front view of version A, which is the dress. Version B, which has, I guess that's the t-shirt with the contrast uh, binding. And then version C is the top without the contrast binding. And these are long sleeves, cap sleeves, three quarter sleeves, cute. And then we also have body measurements and fabric requirements. 
in meters. Where? Oh, in the yards or in the parentheses. Okay, cool. I think that's really cute. Perfect. All right, now we've got the Jessa trousers or shorts. Okay. That booty booty. <laughs> Ultra cool with the 70s twist, the Jessa trousers and shorts, I'm assuming coming, blah, 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 blah. High waist, curved waistband, back darts will flatter your bum while the triangle tab fastening deep patch pockets and faux pocket flap will have you swooning while you sew. Okay, let's see. That's that. All right. That's a cute photo. I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, something's going on in the crotch here. There's a lot of extra fabric there. And that might, you know, I've said it a thousand times, pants are very difficult to fit. I don't even know how they do it on these sample models. Like, I, I have no idea. This is a flattering picture. Um, here's the shorts. I like the cuff and the patch pockets. That's cute. Do we get a back of the shorts? Nope. Here they are in, I'm assuming, corduroy. Pretty much the same. See all this excess fabric? You know, and if you were going to go out into a store and buy them, you'd probably be stoked if you came home when your pants fit this well, <laughs> you know? I can be very um, uber critical of pants, and I don't know why. Working on it. Work in progress. Yeah, it's cute. If I were into making pants, I would definitely give these a go. I think the shorts are adorable. I just don't, I don't have any confidence in myself that I could get them to fit in a way that I would be proud of. So maybe if I have like, a few days where I've got nothing else to do, but really like try <laughs> on, on pants, I'll, I would give something like this a try, but okay. So next up, Abby dress. Ooh, this is Rosie Pena, uh, patterns. Abby is a feminine and flirty day dress or blouse with princess seams extending from the shoulder to the bottom hem. That's very flattering. Choose from length variations and optional patch pockets. All dress versions have a center front button closure, A-line silhouette, center back seams, and darts at the back waistline. The blouse has a center front. Oh, it's a top too. Okay, so center front button closure with short peplum flounce. Okay, so here's the dress version. I guess these like little websites that they're using don't allow you to like uh, modify how you view all these pictures, but this scrolling back and forth is a little annoying. Yeah, I mean, it's a cute little flirty, did she say flirty? Yeah, flirty day dress. I'm, I'm all here, all for that explanation. Here it is in like, oh, what was this happening? In like a little daisy print, that's also cute. <clears throat> oh jeez. Um Yeah, it's giving me like a real young person vibe, like Forever 21, you know, customer. I don't know much about rosy pina patterns, but and white on a white background. I mean, I can't even see what's happening. It just feels very fitted also through the hip, even though it's supposed to be somewhat A-line. Like all of these versions are, you know, feeling very tight throughout this upper hip area. So that would be something I would look out for <laughs> when making it. Oh, okay. I thought the peplum was going to start at the waistline, but I was obviously wrong. Here's the back. There's just a lot of excess fabric in the back. And again, it could be this model, hard to say. Here's a, let's skip to the line drawings. 
yeah, I mean, the line drawings are cuter than the, than some of the photographs. And this, oh my God, I can't even point, I can't use my cursor to point at anything. So I'm going to try and use my words. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, the princess seams on the front seem to come in really close to the center front, not over the bust apex at all. So that's interesting. There's also not a waistline or waist seam in the front, only in the back. Um, not that that's unusual or anything, just something to point out. I guess, you know, given that, they should have been able to give her a better fit. If there is a seam there, they should have altered this, in my opinion. But what do I know? Um, okay, so it looks like this is also knit, medium weight stretch knit fabrics, such as jersey, rib knit, and ponty. Huh. I'd assumed it was woven. Does she say knit, feminine, flirty, dressed? No. Okay. All right. So let's see what else there was back in June. Are we here? Yes. Mid-June, we've got the Ashton top, the Donovan skirt, raspberry jumpsuit. All right, guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to split this up into, I'm going to do this every month. I didn't realize there were so many patterns being released every single month. This is insane. I'm already at like 15 and we're only halfway through the month. Okay. First up we have the Ashton top. Is this made by Helen's closet? Oh yeah. Helen's closet released the Ashton top and the Donovan skirt. Okay. That's cool. Um, the Ashton top is an all season wardrobe staple. It's easy to sew and wear, wear it during the cooler months with jeans and a cardigan or pair it with shorts for the summer. Bus starts, A-line shape, hip length, or crop top. Okay. <coughs> Option to finish the neck and arms with an all-in-one facing or bias binding. I like an all-in-one facing. Okay. Oh, and look, the pictures work. Yay. I love a carousel. Thank you. <laughs> um, so here we are. This must be the cropped version does she say bus starts I think there's bus starts there cute cute little outfit with some culottes yeah it fits her really well I don't know about that fabric looks like a bunch of donuts to me <laughs> oh look she's laughing at my joke thanks is it high low I didn't realize that either we got to get to some scene scene what are they called line drawings here shortly Very nice. That's got to be some one of those like rayon um, twills or something. Maybe a linen. It is giving me um, willow tank vibes, though. And since I've already perfected the fit of that, you know, I'll probably just keep using that one. But look how cute and sassy. Lots of pictures. Oh, no, that's the longer length. Okay. Oh, there it is tucked in, tucked in again, cute. Okay, so yeah, pretty straightforward. I do appreciate, and I'm sorry about this huge magnifying glass <laughs> instead of a cursor, but I do like how the shoulders are cut in. That's very flattering. And then it's got kind of a high neck. And then you've got your hip length and your waist length. Sorry, I'm still getting over this chest cold. It's been like a week and a half. I'm not even kidding. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, Lord. Okay, now we've got your yardage. I guess that's your yardage. Your fabric requirements. And then maybe... Shoot, is this finished or body measurements? 
Why can't I see the whole thing? Oh my gosh. How do I get out of this? Ah! Oh, here it is. Here's the X. Let's go back to this. Oh, it doesn't say. That's weird. Is it? I don't know if this is finished garment measurements or body measurements. So, sorry. Um, okay. Oh, here's the size chart. Let's see. For the Ashton top. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, okay, okay. This must be body measurements. And you get two cup sizes, B or D. Fabric requirements. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, no, here we go. Here's finished garment measurements. All right, cool. What does blue, pink, and green mean, though? Oh, my God. This is so complicated. Oh, okay. Okay. I see now. Oh, my word. Okay. Yeah, so you have your finished garment measurements. That's cool. And then there it is for the D cup range. Okay, awesome. Nice. Next up, we have the Donovan skirt. And I feel like this is what some of the, that Ashton top was being paired with. Yeah. Yeah, it's a um, elastic waist skirt, a perfect amount of fullness and works in many different fabrics, roomy pockets, optional drawstring and two views, midi length with modern side slit and a summary above the knee length. Cute enough, a little, you know, both of these patterns, kind of a little basic, but that's okay because basics are nice, especially when they're drafted well and they fit you well. This is not so flattering. It makes it look like her boobs are way down here. Cute. I just love this picture so much. Cute. Yeah, and literally any fabric under the sun you could make this out of. Oh, that wasn't culottes. That was a skirt all along. Okay. This would be probably a good stash buster. Let's see. Did I not get to the end of the pictures yet? They have so many pictures. Okay, here we go. The longer length and then the summery knee length. And then here's your size chart. That's your body measurements. So it looks like it goes from a hip of waist, uh, a hip of 33 up to 58. I would fall in like the 16, 18 range. Finished garment measurements in inches. Yeah, it's pretty full. It's pretty full. This would give me, oh gosh, like yeah, 10 inches in the hip. And then the waist is kind of like, it's a drawstring and elastic. So you can just pull it in as you need. Okay, cute. Like I said, a little basic, but everyone can benefit from some basic patterns. Okay, Coco Wawa Crafts. <laughs> I gotta say, I've never heard of them before. Where are their pictures? Oh, please, technical difficulties. Let's refresh. Hmm, their picture player is not working. Well, that's annoying. Oh, here we go. This is a raspberry jumpsuit, play suit, and dress sewing pattern. Uh, shirt bodice. I've been wanting to learn that, honestly. With the new summer pattern from Coco Wawa. The uh, three options available. Okay, got it. Pattern comes with, okay. Well, that isn't a very big description. What is up with the pictures? Well, guys, I don't know. None of these are coming up. There's one. Cute. I love how it defines her shape. 
Can I get this one? Okay, so... Wow, okay, interesting. I actually just bought one, bought a pattern, or I'm sorry, bought a top very, very similar to this, but it just has a little peplum top. It's not actually pants. Beautiful jumpsuit with a play suit and dress options. Perfect for the hot months. Shirt, bodice. The change comes with a comfy, loose trouser option. One short one and also a dress. Easy to fit and the perfect pattern to up your game. Fabric requirements. Sizes. We have update our size range, which goes from US 2 to 20. <coughs> Find inspiration for your raspberry pattern and see how it fits. Okay, let's do that. Okay, here we are. Here's all the pictures. That's cute. It's a little long, wasted. Fun. She had a little belt. There's the shorts. Look how adorable that is. Hey, girl, brave for making that in stripes. That one's fun. This is adorable. Look at that, so cute. I love that little flounce on the bottom too. Yep, yep. I like this one. I love that one. Is that like a seersucker maybe? I don't know. Anyways, very cute. Um, let's see. We didn't get any information about, like, she says the sizing goes up to 20, but I don't know what that means. There's no, oh, here we go. And the little sizing picture isn't showing up. That's annoying that the website's, like, broken. Is it down here? No. No. I don't know what's happening. Meh. Sorry. If you're interested in this, there was an email address somewhere. Yeah, at this hi at cocoawawacrafts.com where you can ask her about the sizing. Okay. Um, this is the oh, Opion pattern. Still something I've never heard of before. Another company I've never heard of. The Valian trousers? High waisted carrot trousers. What does that mean? And shorts with a center seam on the front and back leg and diagonal front pockets, belt loops and patch pockets. Okay. Okay. Oh. Carrot trousers? I've never heard that before. Okay. So it looks like princess seams in the front and the back. Oh, okay, good. Princess seams in the front and the back. Uh, little itty bitty pockets that are not very long. Um, yeah, just not the most, um, I don't know if they're just not sewn well or fly front diagonal pockets i do like the diagonal pockets a lot ankle length flat felt seams carrot shape what is carrot shape is it like this when it's rounded at the hip like a cigarette pant but but of course in america we would use the term cigarette and then in other countries they would use a vegetable because vegetables are certainly a better thing for you than cigarettes uh, if that's really what's going on, I'm so annoyed with us right now, Americans. <laughs> um, and then we have a waistband. Um, belt loops, patch pockets, mid-thigh. Yeah, I'm just feeling like they weren't sewn very well. And, the you know, the picture's kind of dark. I don't know. I mean, that picture is better. But 
That actually fits a lot better too. I don't know what happened on these shorts. Lots of pictures. Let's go back to the short. Yeah. See here, this is, uh, there's a lot happening here. So I don't know if that would be naturally better for me or not. Hmm. Pretty affordable though. Okay, do we have recommended fabrics, measurement chart in inches? No, oh, no, in centimeters, but not in inches? Yeah, that seems like a lot of work and a lot of brain power for me that I really just don't have. All right, let's move on. So how seven, free range slacks. Oh, these are cute, okay. Slacks are defined as trousers for casual wear. While we don't hear that term much these days, we think it's time to embrace it again. You will feel, okay. So comfortable, multitude of fabrics. Okay, a tapered leg version and a straight cropped version. Both have an elastic high waist, side panels and front pockets that are top stitched in place from behind and an optional back patch pocket. The tapered legs look great rolled up, so the finished garment measurements show rolled and unrolled measurements, and the instructions include options for French and flat felled leg seams. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Lots of pictures. Let's see. No carousels, so let's keep scrolling up and down. All right, so yeah, I like the wide elastic waistband. That's nice. The slant pockets are ideal. For me, if you have a curvy figure, it really prevents them from like poking open, you know, like they can inside seam pockets. And then, oh, that's the rolled version, the straight leg version. And then you have fabric requirements and body measurements. Recommended fabrics, linen, cotton, cotton twill, rayon blends, light midweight denim, tinsel twill, cotton poplin, wool gabardine. Okay. Yeah, so obviously you could make these and transition them into fall. Of course, they don't have to be summer pants. I kind of like the cropped straight version, this yellow version here. That's cute. Okay, I don't feel like we need to look at every picture. It's like, it's like Big Four gives you two pictures and then Indy gives you 200 pictures. So if you were interested, you can certainly head over. Oh, do you want to see the back version? Let's take a look. Yeah, you know, high-waisted uh, kind of loose-fitting trousers always have this you know, trade off with how flattering it is on your bum because there's no like definition in like the there's no darting or anything like that to pull it in right above your bum. But I don't I mean, the pocket seems a little low. But other than that, I think these look, you know, as good as pants designed like this can look, you know what I mean? <clears throat> all right, and then that is it. That's all we're going to get from Sew House 7 on this pattern. Next up is the Hermosa Shorts Digital Sewing Pattern, again from Itch to Stitch. Okay, so this is her version of like jean shorts. High-waisted shorts are designed for bottom weight woven fabric with a touch of stretch. They will keep up with you while you zoom through your busy day. These descriptions are so cute. Front and back patch pockets, three links, zipper fly front and button fly front. Cute. I'm assuming this is like a stretch twill or like a cotton sateen or something, this fabric. The waistband's really big too, which I like. You don't see that very often. I don't love the longer length. Oh, the mid length. This is the longer length. That kind of looks like a skirt. There we go. Yeah, I'm digging that waistband for sure. Okay, that's it on the photos. Let's, you know what? She's the one that does all the pictures from her um, pattern testers. Where are those? This. 
let's see some other people wearing them. Anybody? Okay, here we go. That's a cute length. Button fly, that looks cute. Ooh, little sex kitten. Yeah, because they have the fabric um, requirement is stretch woven, stretch bottom weight, you can really get a close fit if you want. It looks to be drafted kind of close fitting anyways. I don't know, hers, hers are more loose fitting, at least in the hem. Cute. All right. Okay, enough of that. Um, <laughs> we get it, right? Let's go back to the, let's see, size chart, body measurements, finished garment measurements. I'm barely fitting into her size chart based on the, well, let's see. There's only one and three quarter inches of ease in the hip. That hardly seems like enough. So yeah, they're they're drafted to be fitted, fitted shorts. Um, you could let out the hem a little bit if you didn't want them to come in so much, but to be like so tight on your thigh. But yeah, these are pretty fitted. I don't know, these little short length ones look pretty loose on hers. I guess you just have to muslin as always and figure out from there. And we will go to Wednesday Weekly 178 right here. This is going to be the last set of them. And then I'll just stay on top of this and do this every month. Um, so we don't have so many. Probably should have started with August. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> clearly, clearly I wasn't. I, I was thinking honestly that I would be able to get June, July, and August all in one. I had no no understanding that indie patterns were coming out five a week. Like I, I, I'm shocked to hear that. Okay. Workroom social, Clary Bell jeans. Okay. I guess it's this. Um, designed for women with larger hip to waist ratio. That's me. We'll look at the um, garment measurements and the body measurements here shortly. Five pocket classic jean with modern lines, mid rise, designed to sit below your natural waist, right below your belly button, close fitting through the waist, hip, and thigh. Forward side seams, which is nice, meaning the side seams come more forward on the body, leaving room for the bum. Uh, modern back yoke shape, three different back pocket sizes. That's also nice for three different, presumably three different bum sizes. Legs have extra ease for calves. That's also nice. I always have to make that adjustment. Uh, 31 inch finish inseam, multi-piece fly front zipper construction, classic jeans, top stitching, hardware applications. Okay. Designed to be close fitting at the waist, hip, and thigh with ease at the knee and calf. The pattern is designed for denim with slight stretch. Think jeans, not jeggings. Okay. Got it. Oh, a little video. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Those look really good on her. Okay, there's some pattern pieces. I would say the look, the rise is probably a little low for me personally, just because I do carry some weight in my belly and you see this crease that's right here. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that's happening because the front waistband is kind of like rolling over when she sits down. That happens to me all the time. Um, and if, for me, if I have a higher waist, it stays nice and flat. I am inspired by the description, um, you know, the larger hip to waist ratio. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. That's yardage. 
All right, size chart and finished garment measurements. So if you have, oh gosh, I can't use my cursor to point. Uh, oh, body jeans, body jeans, body jeans. Okay, so if you, let's just presume we're size zero. Uh, there is 25.5 to 27, so two and a quarter inches of ease. So, okay, that's not making any sense in my mind. Let me see. My, oh, that's waist. The hip is actually two inches of negative ease. <laughs> so I'm like 46 inch hip. I mean, I guess, do you want negative ease on jeans? See, I don't know. I don't know how this all works. That seems to make sense to me. It's not like, you know, your body measurement is 46 and then the jeans are 36, like I've seen before. <coughs> so I don't know, those of you that have made jeans, those curvy girls out there who have made jeans, does this, what does this, this mean anything to you? Meanwhile, fresh press patterns release the Carolina or Carolina dress. I'd like to see it. Oh, here it is. All right. Size is extra small to 3X. Carolina is high on style, low on fussy, su fussy sewing. That's hard to say. Fussy sewing, fussy sewing. Combine two fabrics, a woven and a knit. It can be a great stash buster. An elastic waistband at the back cinches you in while the front waist ties add attention. So look, it's like woven in the back and knit in the front. That's kind of cool. Do we like that? I like this little cinchy waistband thing in the back. That's cute. Here's the line drawing. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, this is the size chart in centimeters. Here it is in inches. I'm wondering if the top row is body and the bottom row is... Oh, no, those are the sizes, 0, 2, 4, 6. Okay, okay, okay. And then the alphanumerical size next to it. Okay, I'm with you now. So for this one, I mean, hip matters a little bit, but bust also matters. So am I in the same bust as hip? No. Interesting. Okay. It's it's a really cool concept. I would just be overly concerned with the woven fabric and the knit fabric kind of like matching. I mean, she went with navy, which in my opinion, it's kind of like a bit of a contrast. That back piece is reading way more like light blue or white even. Um, so it really stands out. But maybe that was the point of all of that so that you could really tell in her promotional pictures. But the high neckline, the dolman sleeve, yeah, it really is pretty simple to sew. So that's fun. Okay, now we've got the Indigo Bodysuit by Layla Jane. LJ, that's like me. Um, it looks like a little raglan sleeve. There's no description. <coughs> <coughs> Three styles of body suits, suits. Deep V neck Henley, off shoulder or mock turtleneck. Oh, well, something for all season, for real. Uh, snap closure, three sleeve lengths. Okay. I mean, I love, yeah. I love the turtleneck version. Oh, here we go. Here's the V. Oh, it has little buttons too. Also cute. <coughs> mm. 
Yeah, I like that. Is that what she's calling off the shoulder? It's just wide, you know what I mean? It's not totally off the shoulder. Here's your garment measurements, possibly. Different cup sizes, waist, hip, and then also your, your high hip and your full hip. That's cool. I'm sorry, you guys can't really see this. Is this better? Not really. <coughs> okay, and then letter sizing. I mean, it goes all the way up to an E cup, guys. I mean, that's impressive. And then your full hip, which is what most other companies call just the hip, goes from 34 up to 58. So I would still fall in the extra large situation, but that also matches my hip, which is nice, meaning this is graded for, you know, a curvier person. The bust, yeah, since I'm pear, um, my bust is like a medium. So. Oh no, we never saw that version. Oh, we did, but it was like up on her shoulder a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's what that black one is. Let's look at the pictures again. Yeah, so you can either pull that down over your, the you know, cup of your shoulder, or you can leave it up like that, which is also nice. I don't know. After making that bodysuit for the Sunmaker Fabric Spring Style Tour, I dig them. I dig them a lot. And since this one is made from knit, I don't know that you need those snaps. I might just sew it like, you know, closed at the bottom and then just take it on and off from the neckline. I mean, the neckline's huge. I guess with the, the turtleneck one, yeah, you definitely couldn't do that. But this one you could. This one you need the snaps, though. <clears throat> okay, so DIY has their Layla skirt pattern featuring elastic waist, straight silhouette, not, mm -mm. split hem. Uh, oh, mix and match for a total of 18 different designs. Gently curved hem, exaggerated curved hem, or straight hem. You can also choose between inseam pockets, angled pockets, or scoop pockets. I like scoop pockets. Oh, okay. It's straight, but still roomy. And, you know, I guess whenever you pull this in at your waist, it becomes curvy if you've got a curvy figure, you know what I mean? But if the pattern pieces are literally rectangles with little curves on the bottom, I don't know that you need a pattern for that, really. Oh, it is only $12, so maybe it would just be easier to buy. That's how my crazy mind works. Um, woven fabrics, and then all of this, these notions, um, here's some body measurements and finished garment measurements for the hip. So, um, she's got six inches of ease built in, which is a lot. So my body measurement is here. I would make a size 20 and have six inches of ease built in. So that's a lot. Um, they don't have the finished waist measurement though. So I don't know how much I'd be having to like really pull in that elastic, but it could work. Oh, designed for a height of 5'10". My goodness. Well, there you go, tall girls. 5'10". Wow. Okay. Rad patterns, the length is broken. What did she say it was? The rosy dress. Rosy, rosy. Oh, well, she's got a lot of patterns. Let's, can you search? No? Oh, search. Rosy. <clears throat> no results for rosy. Oh, that's sad. What happened? 
Oh well, Rosie's done. Okay, so there were all of our uh, indie patterns for the month of June. Um, like I said, a lot of them are still very appropriate. Um, even as we go into fall, there was several pants patterns, uh, dresses with different lengths, you know, here's two, three different, four different pants patterns um, this week, or that could be with this jumpsuit. Um, so yeah, still very uh, relevant and timely, so I don't feel so bad about starting with June for some crazy reason. <laughs> Anyways, I will be back for what was released in July and then do a separate video on what was released in August. And then we'll be all caught up and I will do, um, I'll start doing these every, at the end of every month. It'll be another fun video series for us. But like I said, be sure to check the description box for um, links to this Wednesday weekly feature at Helen's Closet. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment to let me know what you thought. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. Like I just mentioned, I will have a lot more videos just like this one, as well as a bunch of other really fun videos coming at you really shortly. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you all very soon. Bye.